Thanks for joining us in honoring Martin Luther King Day. It's a very special presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. And tonight, it'll be the Oklahoma City Thunder going up against the Los Angeles Lakers here on their home floor in L.A. With Hall of Famer Grant Hill and Brent Berry, this is Brian Anderson. We'll be hearing from Allie LaForce from the sideline. Here's a look at the schedule for the Oklahoma City Thunder. On Tuesday, they'll be playing against Russell Westbrook and the Los Angeles Clippers. Then on Thursday, they'll go up against the Jazz in Utah. What a great opportunity for this team to take a step forward. They have some tough road games coming up, and that kind of stretch can bring a team together. Winning some of these games would be huge for their overall confidence. A look at the opening lineup for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Inside, we got Williams and Holmgren. Josh Giddy out there with Shea Gilgis-Alexander. And it's Dort in at the small forward position. And for Los Angeles, it's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. Austin Reeves out there with Cam Reddish. And it's Prince in at the three. Well, Grant, how about the importance of this holiday? Especially when you think about everything that Dr. Martin Luther King stood for. You know, what an honor and a privilege to play today. I mean, it's really inspiring, even after all these years. And you can tell both of these teams are grateful to be playing on this day right now. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Outside Giddy. Shot clock at six. Nice D from Reddish. Pass to Davis. Here's the three. Here's James. Soft touch off the glass. And LeBron carving out position and converting on that opportunity. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. Fader on the way. Davis with a rebound. And so Davis will bring it up for the Lakers. It's Prince on the wing. Dort defending. Back to James. The three is up. Counted from distance. James has got five points. Oh, and the three ball still there for James. Not only is it there, it's getting more and more effective. Screen by Holmgren. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And Davis with the block. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Davis. Just a superb read on defense to come up with the block. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. minute and a half of basketball played here in this one. Count it. The Lakers have gone two of three from the floor. You know, Brent, something that really stands out about Lou Dort is his razor-sharp defense. Well, he puts a ton of pressure on shooters and will lock up star players. And the reason why B.A. has got this low center of gravity, he gets up underneath guys, and he continues to be a pest for every minute that he's defending. Oh, man, for over 20 years, has it been tough to find anyone that dishes it better than LeBron? Pass to Holmgren. To the inside. And that one's good. Gilgis Alexander. You have a guard like Gilgis Alexander that fights inside. It can add some spunk to your team. Here's the pick. Yeah, and the defense really respects his shooting ability, and they showed it with that tight coverage. Pass to Giddy. Back to Gilgis Alexander, and here's Holmgren. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Lays it up and banks it in. Six points for him. Scoring well this quarter, picking up steam as he goes. On the wing, Reeves. Here's Reddish. Pass to Prince. James with the ball. Back to Reeves. Clock at six. Now, here is James. 
Offensive rebound. Controls the rebound and the putback. And Davis just eating up the boards on the inside and went right back up with it. Now Gilgis Alexander. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. Rebound, the Lakers. Their last encounter in Oklahoma City, where they were able to handle the Thunder. They were able to pull out a win last time because their bench came up big. It's so important to have depth on your roster. Probably looking for more of the same here, as we know, a deep bench. So crucial to any team's success. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. Defensive foul. That free throw, good from James. Hey, you look at some of the young star power on OKC. Grant, they haven't had that since the Kevin Durant years. Oh, B.A., I mean, those KD teams were built through the draft. So no matter where they're That's picking, green. the Thunder seem to uncover Jones. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. Pass to Reeves. Here's Prince. Knocked loose. Stolen by Giddy. Dort, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Here's Reeves. Gilgis Alexander defending. Williams against James. Prince down low. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to go on Shea Gilgis Alexander. Torian Prince has such a great motor and the physical nature of his play. You got to appreciate that aggressiveness. Well, the Lakers hired Darvin Ham to be their head coach back in 2022. Grant, that proved to be a great move. I agree, B.A. I mean, Ham was an assistant for a decade in the league, earned his spot as the main guy, and Darvin was a really tough player, too. I mean, he went undrafted and won a title with the Pistons against the Lakers. Count it. Good. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Pass to Reeves. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. Reeves has got five now. We talk a lot about the monster games that LeBron James has and putting a bunch of points on the board, but sometimes we just forget about how brilliant a playmaker and passer he is. Now here's Holmgren. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Orlando. The other part of his game was the outstanding D. Shot blocking is a huge momentum shifter, and his two blocks really turned the game in their team's favor. Set it up with a fake, but it's offline. And so Prince will bring it up for the Lakers. They lead by seven. It's James on the wing. Outside Reddish. Back to James. Four on the clock. Over Dort. James can't get it to go. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Now here's Kitty. No point so far. Here's Holmgren. And too long on the shot. For Los Angeles, they've got six of ten attempts to fall. Pass to Davis. Back to James. Here's Reeves. Reddish on the wing. Jacks up a three. And finished off by Davis. Tenacious on the inside. Davis great at getting interior positioning and then catalyzing. And there's the screen. And he's going for the oop here. Reeves, the pass to Davis. And it falls for him. He's hit three of his first four attempts. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Now a timeout, timeout, timeout. called by Oklahoma City. They're just giving away a run right now. The question is, can they stop the tie? It's hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. 
And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Vanderbilt's checked in for LeBron. Hachimura comes in for Prince. Christie's checked in for Reddish. And Russell is subbed in for Reeves. Pass to Williams. Holmgren with it. They still need this. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Now Russell. Here's Christie. Averaging around five points a game. Russell, the pass to Vanderbilt. Six on the shot clock. It's tipped. Goes up on the wing. And it's Russell. That time on the assist by Vanderbilt. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Number zero. Pass to Davis. Now here's Vanderbilt. Here's Huchifino. Davis with it. Just five to shoot. And here's Vanderbilt from the arc. That shot is off. There's a minute 40 left to play in the first quarter. Here's Joe. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Down low. Here's Holmgren. Oh, that one's off. Still out of sync. The Lakers shooting a phenomenal 60% on the first. And then Davis punches it home. That size and athleticism makes it look easy. AD up on the rim. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. The Thunder making a switch here. Williams is checked in. Here's a look at some stats for the last handful of seasons for LeBron James. And for an idea of where his offense is right now, take a look at his true shooting percentage decreasing over the last five games. He desperately needs to find his stroke tonight. Unfortunately for them, they're reeling at this point. So true. Very little going their way right now at either end of the floor. Williams, a screen on Russell. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. <laughs> the way they've gotten after rebounds has been impressive. To the paint. Here's Wood. And Wood with the stuff. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. Here's Wallace. Still without a bucket. And there's a whistle. That's going to go on Jared Vanderbilt. That's his first foul. First team foul. Here's Wallace. Yeah, a, a really rough opening quarter for them in terms of shooting. And a miss layup. Tries the nine-footer. Again, the Lakers score. Really taking charge of the game, largely with a detailed interior attack. Well, how good have they been on the inside tonight, just getting down into the painted area and just dominating, controlling that spot. Seven-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Down to five on the shot clock. They need this. Rebounded by LeBron. James has got four rebounds in the game. From deep. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for Los Angeles. He had solid production this quarter with scoring and rebounding. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And again, happy Martin Luther King Day as we return to the court here on 2K Sports. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Los Angeles? 
you figured they might want to come out and run, and it's been the key for them early. They're just feasting on fast break chances. When you make the most of second chance opportunities, and you're in there and active, well, that can really put a lot of pressure on the defense. Taking a look at Oklahoma City. We've got Kendrick Williams, and it's Gilgis Alexander in at the one. Well, Grant, you've been the up-and-comer, but you've also played the role of the veteran. What's the key to that latter stage? You know, B.A., your contributions as a veteran are felt just as much with your leadership as they are with your numbers. So sharing what you've learned with those younger players on the way up is so, so important. And stolen by Wood. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. LeBron James is sustaining greatness into his late 30s. He said, quote, as long as my mind stays in it, I can play at this level for a while. My body is going to be okay because I always make sure to take care of it and I put the work in. And Brian, call it mind over matter or the fountain of youth, whatever you want to call it, LeBron's work continues to pay off. Indeed, no question about that. Thank you, Allie. Here's Holmgren. The Lakers getting their last shot to go to the middle. It's going to be on LeBron James. That's his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. And about a minute gone in the second quarter. Here's Joe. LeBron in great defensive position that time. Exceptional at using his wingspan to throw off the shooter. And right now they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Pass to Achimura. Outside Vanderbilt. Hey, expanding his range. On oh, target from range. Vanderbilt's got himself on the board with a three there. Nice delivery there. You can't hesitate when a man comes free on the perimeter. He got it, went right into the shot. Guarded by Russell. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free-throw line. That one on Russell. And Grant, when you scan the OKC roster, you see length at every position. Yeah, it's definitely their philosophy, B.A. We're seeing a number of franchises going that route. What I would say about the Thunder, though, many of their guys still have some strength to add. Wiggins, he's checked in for Joe. Outside, Williams. Pass to Wallace. Now Holmgren. Guarded by Wood. Holmgren against Wood. And it's Holmgren missing. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Now here's Russell. He had a 39-point outing in their last game against Utah. And, guys, the other thing that he did well was just facilitate the offense, pass the ball around beautifully in that one, seriously put on a passing clinic. It's been a devastating night for them. Nothing has come easy, Grant. Nothing indeed. Even when they've tried to make adjustments, it just hasn't worked. Vanderbilt against Holmgren. Here's Wallace. No made baskets yet. Fires in the triple. The value of good ball movement isn't lost on this squad. And so it's Russell who brings up the ball for Los Angeles. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Ooh, too long in the paint. And he's hit with a three-second violation. And he shows the focus there. Nails the tee. Rui Hachimura is one of those guys who you're assured of as putting in the work in the offseason. The shot has gotten a little bit more accurate, and the confidence that he plays with continues to grow. Prince has checked in for the Lakers. Reeves comes in for Russell. And some rookies here that have wasted no time making their defense stand out. Second, Chad Holmgren. Blocking ability like his is very coveted in the league, and he shows no fear clashing at the rim against experienced finishers. Well, Grant, we've seen some teams double up with superstar players at the same position in recent years. Sometimes it works. Yeah, you know, and other times it doesn't work. I mean, it forces a coach to be very creative. When you have multiple players who are used to being the guy, it can be hard to keep everyone happy. James passes to Achimura. 
Back to James. And stolen by Holmgren. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Russell's checked in. For Hachimura. And also a switch here for Oklahoma City. Williams has checked in for Joe. Now Russell. Right now he's contributing about 15 and a half points a game. Pass to Reeves. Beyond the arc. That shot's good. Russell making the play. Reeves has got eight points. Sometimes it's the simple play that's most effective. D'Lo with a nice assist. Outside, Williams. Knocks down the long J. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Now here's Russell. Pass to Prince. Back to Russell. Fires the three. And Another three for the Lakers. I like how competitive Russell is. When you make a three-point shot and he's got the ball in his hands, he's going to come right back at you. Here's Williams. He had 16 in the win against Orlando. Yeah, but there's always this point where you got to look at where did he also impact the game. It was on the rebounding end of the floor. A tremendous performance there. Reeves, the pass to Prince. Back to Reeves. Outside Russell. Let's it go from deep. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Their last game, a win against the Magic. Looking to carry it into this one. Yeah, it was relentless play at both ends of the court in that game. They were able to seize control and maintain it. And going back and watching that game, there was not one spot on the floor that they did not own. Inside, here's Vanderbilt. And Vanderbilt slams it in can make time it so out, much out. easier for your teammate when you throw that lead Garden. pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. And some changes here for the Lakers. Anthony Davis comes in for Vanderbilt, and Reddish is subbed in for Russell. And also a switch here for Oklahoma City. Joe's checked in. Here's Joe. He's scoreless. Sends it home from three-point land. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. You know, for my money, Josh Giddy is one of the most entertaining players in the league, Grant. Yeah, he has superb vision in the open floor, B.A. Reads the angles and sees how plays develop with ease. His teammates have to be ready for a pass from Giddy at all times. To the right side. Shoots. Oh, the Thunder tack on two more. It was a rough start for them scoring the ball, but they look like now they're really finding their rhythm and flow. James inside. Williams defending. Prince with the bucket. You like how their perimeter game is building out. They're feeling it right now. Oklahoma City has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Here's Williams. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First one falls. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. And the Lakers making a change here. Vanderbilt's checked in. Here's Reeves. Give him eight. Pass to Davis. Count the basket. Davis has got ten points in the game. Davis is focused right now and is staying in a great rhythm no matter what kind of pressure he's facing. He shoots a three. Drills it from deep. He's finally started to settle down here in the second quarter. Just needed to work up a sweat. Here's Reeves. He's coming off a 19-point game against the Jazz in Salt Lake City. Rejected by Holmgren. And you can't forget about Holmgren's reach, especially when he's nearby on defense. The three ball. And again, Oklahoma City with a triple. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Here's Reeves. 
On the wing, Davis. Davis missing again. I know it's about defending the post and the three-point line these days, but still got to be active in the mid-range area. And the defense gets away with one there. And what's really impressive about Josh Kitty is his versatility. And at such a young age, Brent. Yeah, Giddy at 6'8", BA, I think it's awesome because his size allows his skills to be accelerated and magnified. He sees over the top of a lot of defenders, and he can out-quick them, not with his feet, but with the pass. The Lakers making a switch here. Achimura's checked in. Joe's checked in for Oklahoma City. Pass to Achimura. Outside Reddish. To the paint. Out of bounds. It'll be Oklahoma City's ball. Now I'm all for the crowd interacting with the players, but not so much the players interacting with the crowd. That one, errant pass. Here's Oklahoma City now. They're on an 18-7 run. Now Dort. Over Prince. Rebound, the Lakers. Davis has got four rebounds now. Pass to Reeves. Back to Davis. One thirty-three left in the second period. Fires from 14. Dort grabs the miss. He's been off this whole period. Unable to sustain any kind of consistency. They set a pick from deep. Sinks it from distance. Dort's got six. Well, if you're looking for a 3 and D player, Dort plays D, and there's your three. Pass to Davis. And here's Achimura. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Shea Gilgis-Alexander. And one thing he's gotten better at as the years have gone on is scoring the ball, shouldering a bigger load of the offense, and being willing to accept the responsibility of a go-to option for this team. And he sinks the second. And Kitty has got the ball here for Oklahoma City. Seven-point differential. Pass to Joe. Now Holmgren. Stolen by Davis. Here's Reeves. Giddy defends. Achimura, the pass to Davis. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It's going to go on Chet Holmgren. Intelligent play there by Davis. He knows he has the defense on their heels as soon as he gets the ball that close to the rim. Russell's checked in for the Lakers. And that's good as he hits both shots. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Russell against Kitty. Pass to Joe. Six to shoot. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Kitty. Giddy's got four assists Giddy. in the game. And Giddy just that sixth sense to find the open man. And so it's Los Angeles closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. What has them in front right now, by and large, they're taking great shots. We'll be right back after this word. Welcome, one and all. Before we hear Kenny and Shaq's insights on that first half, let's look ahead and check out the upcoming schedule. And for their matchup with the Mavericks, even though they'll be facing a higher-ranked team, they just feel that they're just as good. I'm telling you. I could see it in their walk, their swagger, Shaq. You could see it in their eyes. Yeah, they're motivated to prove it. They just need more motivation, though. It can be a tough challenge on both ends. And let's get into this first half where there were some struggles for the Thunder. Well, the obvious problem is the perimeter defense. And it's not all their fault. Sometimes a team just gets hot. 
But at the same time, at some point, you have to force shooters to put the ball on the floor and beat you some other way. It's a conundrum. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. Hey there, everyone. Glad you could join us on MLK Day on 2K Sports. A fantastic game from Anthony Davis in this one. Through two quarters of play, he's been an excellent source of points. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. And the Lakers with possession here. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. Cam Reddish is out there with Austin Reeves. And it's Prince in at the three. Small forward. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. Reeves, the pass to Reddish. James, right side. And stolen by Williams. Nice defense. Reading the play, using some quick hands to take it away. And a look now at the top rookie rebounders in the NBA. Third is Chad Holmgren. Rebounding is a skill that can easily translate into the pro game. He had a reputation for being good on the boards, and he has certainly delivered on that. The free throw drops for Williams. Williams drops them both. The Lakers in the lead. James up top. Williams defending. Reddish passes to Prince. Now here is James. Outside Reddish. Launches a three. It's going to be on LeBron James. That's his third foul so far. Quick trigger from Reddish there speaks to his confidence. He just let that one fly. And for the Thunder, they're shooting around 53%. A nice number. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Strong finish by Gilgis Alexander. <laughs> A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Well, just ripping through right there as he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. Reddish misses. And it's Thunder's ball. They trail by six. And with a little over a minute gone by, the second half is underway. Holmgren, the pass to Giddy. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Inside, Giddy has to count on some creativity and some agility hard for him to muscle through the defense. Here's James. LeBron, a smooth operator inside. Nice move to get inside and create a good look for himself. And it's the Thunder with the ball. Six-point game. Gilgis Alexander attacking. And Davis with the block. Reddish against Kitty. James outside. It's Kitty on the wing. Reddish covering. And it's Kitty missing. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. Oh, there's the alley! Outside Reddish. Fires the three. The Thunder with the rebound. Williams passes to Giddy. Williams a screen on Reddish. Back to Williams. Outside Giddy. Williams with the screen. Just four to shoot. Oklahoma City's got to hurry. They got to get up a shot. The Thunder with another miss. And here's Davis. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Six point lead. Pass to Reddish. Outside for Davis. Here's Prince. 
from downtown. And again, the Lakers, no good. Practically a block. <laughs> good, strong challenge. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss. That kind of energy not wasted. Now here's Kitty. The Thunder with another miss. Great defensive effort to lock down the paint. Yeah, he cut off every angle and then got his body on him. That's a Warriors effort. Here's Reeves. Give him eight. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. And the Lakers lead by eight. Sensational putback slam from AD there. No one bodies him up, and because of that, he's free to dunk. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. James against Williams. Over James. Cashes it in from 11 feet. Williams has got 13 now. Los Angeles has gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. Pass to Prince. Here's Reeves. Gilgis Alexander defending. High post Davis. Charity stripe shot. And it's Kitty with a rebound. The Thunder have gone three of seven here in this third quarter. Gilgis Alexander, a screen on Davis. Giddy passes to Gilgis Alexander. Fades. Rebounded by the Lakers. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession, if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. And uh, kind of par for the course here, right? Coming through with a solid offensive game to help them get this lead. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Give him eight points now. On the money with a shot from the left block. Gilgis Alexander's got four points now in the quarter. Pass to Reeves. Reddish on the wing. Here's Prince. Puts up a three. Williams grabs the board. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Dort finds Gilgis Alexander. Now here's Williams. Back to Gilgis Alexander. SGA doing his thing in close. Well, the defense allowed that one. He had a clear path to the cup. Boy, the offensive instincts of Shea Gilgis Alexander are really something to see. Yeah, an incredible instinctual scorer and just a knack for making things happen offensively. Whether that means him scoring or setting up others, this guy is an elite offensive player. Now here's Kitty. Looking at his production, close to 12 points a game. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. Rebound, the Lakers. James has got five rebounds in the game. Pass to Reddish. Here's Prince. Here's Reeves. Kitty defends. And here's Davis. Over Gilgis Alexander. And that one's good. Davis. Davis has gotten four this quarter. Tremendous scoring output here from AD. I love this aggressive mindset. Timeout called. The Thunder. checked in for Reddish. And let's take a look at the first-year players who have really brought it on the offensive end. Here are the NBA's leading rookie scorers. Second, Chad Holmgren. And it's always hard to predict how easily young players will adapt to the league. But on the offensive end, he's really hit the ground running. The Thunder have gone 5 of 11 in this third quarter. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Davis has got rebound number eight here already in the game. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Williams with it. 13 points in the game. Outside Giddy. There's the triple. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. And 
Davis has got the ball here for the Los Angeles Lakers. Seven point differential. James against Williams. Double team on James. Five on the clock. Pass to Davis. From the arc. Rejected by Holmgren. Wow, great D from Chet there. That is his calling card. And the Lakers with some changes. Vanderbilt's checked in for James. Achimura comes in for Prince. And Lewis is subbed in for Reeves. Here's Joe. And here's Holmgren. Five points in the game. Pass to Joe. Shot clock at five. Driving to the basket. Uses the glass on the layup. He's got ten. Here's Lewis. 156 left in the third. To the inside. It's stolen away. Wallace, the pass to Williams. And the officials call a traveling violation. Wondering how the West is shaping up? Well, the midseason grind is in full force. Let's check out the standings. You take a look at the Thunder. What a season thus far for them. Second place in the conference. And, of course, Los Angeles. Now nine games behind. Christie's checked in for Lewis. Davis a screen. Russell to pass to Davis. And Davis slams it home. And really, that's a perfect screen and role play that gets AD to look where he wanted it. Pass to Holmgren. Here's Joe. And here is Williams. Guarded by Vanderbilt. Williams in the post. Davis on him. A minute four left in the third quarter. Just five on the clock. Vanderbilt with a screen. Here's Russell. And the Lakers tack on two more. So many plays are initiated from the pick and roll for Russell. And for very good reason. He's got as good a feel for that as you could hope for. Pass to Holmgren. 36 seconds left in the third quarter. That shot, no good. Davis with the defensive effort. No matter what he's tried, it hasn't worked. Unfortunately, the team is suffering from that. They get the rebound. Tries again. Russell. And the layup is good off the glass. Russell's got 10 points. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. Now Holmgren. He's got five. Launches it. Oh, my goodness! That's He'll good. go to the line with a chance at a four-point play. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. That free throw good from Holmgren. Yeah, and many believe Holmgren must add muscle over time to his wire reframe. We'll see if he focuses on doing just that. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. Back to the game after this break. the Thunder now. They trail by seven on the court for the Thunder. They've got Shea Gilgis Alexander and it's Williams in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And he comes up with a bucket. Just a bad time for a defensive breakdown. And he really took advantage. You might see this in the early part of the game, but at this stage in the game, that's just really something unacceptable. He's a great mid-range scorer. Shot from 12. Good. He hits the jumper. I think D'Lo has all sorts of confidence when he has that kind of spot in his arsenal. 
Gilchis Alexander passes to Williams. Here's Wallace. Hachimura covering. Williams a screen on Hachimura. Down low. Williams in the post. Started by Wood. It's scooped up. There's the three. Williams misses. And they've committed to controlling the boards. And it's paying dividends. Pass to Russell. Back to James. And the basket is good. The call goes his way. And we could be looking at a three-point play here. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Lakers. I mean, they've played some beautiful basketball all game. The passing has been impressive, and it's opened up things with their ball movement. And I feel like there's been an old-school aspect to what they've done tonight, and that is pounding the ball inside, getting it down low, getting those looks in close. That's been effective. And there's a pick. Pass to Wallace. The three is up. Hits a three-pointer. Well, a solid facilitator. It helps that the defense thinks that Shea Gilgis Alexander is going to shoot and not pass. Wood with it. The open shot by James. Williams grabs the board. The Thunder have gotten half of their attempts to fall. Ball in the fourth. Two for four now. Gilgis Alexander passes to Williams. 4-3. And Williams gets the bucket on the assist from Gilgis Alexander. Lackluster defense, showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. Nice move. Goes back up. The Thunder with the rebound. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone by. Pulls up. Oh, the Thunder tack on two more. They're making smart adjustments, setting guys up for success. Yeah, possession's just way more efficient, I think, here tonight. Taking smarter, better shots, moving the ball around. That's helped them to get back in the ballgame. From 13, Williams grabs the board. Williams has got four rebounds now. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Take the lead. And again, Oklahoma City with a triple. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Lakers. Timeout, it's timeout. a one-point game. Time called here. Los Angeles Sorry. decides to talk it over. And the Lakers making a change here. Reeves is checked in. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. I was able to catch the message that Darvin Ham was giving to his team. He told them, this is the passion. I want us to play with every night. Now my question is, how are we going to finish? Are we going to be passive? Or are we going to take what's ours? Guys, back to you. Great work, Allie. Thanks. The Thunder have gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. Outside, Williams. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. And counted. 8 of 14 now. He's rolling. <laughs> They're getting... ...torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. James, a screen on Gilgis Alexander. And there's the lob. Oh, wow! Set him up and let LeBron finish. LeBron gets behind the eyes of the defense for the highlight reel game. Gilgis Alexander passes to Williams. Williams a screen on James. Back to Gilgis Alexander. The three-pointer off the mark. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. To the paint. Here's James. Oh, Williams with the block. And the foul on the shot. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And the foul goes against Oklahoma City. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Thunder. Well, they have owned the offensive perimeter throughout this game, finding lots of openings and turning them into big shots. 
you probably have to touch on as well that tonight their penetration has been awesome. I mean, they put force on this game, attacking off the bounce, and a willingness to do that has paid off. For Los Angeles, they've gotten just three of nine shots to go in, struggling this fourth quarter. Back to Russell. Pass to Prince. Davis against Holmgren. The shot inside. Rejected by Holmgren. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Got it. Good job in the low post. Gilgis Alexander's got 13 points here in the second half alone. The Lakers trail. Now, here is James. Russell, a screen on Williams. It's James with the drive. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to go on Shea Gilgis Alexander. No good on the free throw. And the sustained greatness of LeBron James, just something when you take a step back, you really marvel at. We truly have been witnesses to something special. Reddish has checked in for the Lakers. Here's Oklahoma City now. They're on a 16-5 run. Pass to Williams. Williams, a screen on Reddish. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Gilgis Alexander does a good job of just staying aggressive, and that just forces the defense to do something. Shooting for Oklahoma City. First one falls for him. And really strong at the line since the break. Both free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. Pass to Prince. Back to Reeves. Gilgis Alexander. Love to see that kind of effort from Gilgis Alexander on the defense. He can get in your head at times. Gilgis Alexander sinks a big one. He's giving his all here in the fourth, sinking four or five shots. It's Prince on the wing. Pass to James. Inside. And finished off by Davis. What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man. And he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. So slippery in there. Gilgis Alexander makes great adjustments to get what he wants. Shooting Both free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. And so it's James with it. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Trailing by five. Pass to Reeves. Davis with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Reeves the pass to Davis. And he makes it. Davis has got 10 points in just the second half. Well, AD defining the word clutch on that one. Huge shot there. And here's Holmgren. Here's Giddy. Baseline jumper right on the money. And the Thunder lead by five. No nerves from Josh Giddy that time. Outside Reddish. It's James on the wing. Williams defending. Pass to Reeves. Here's Prince. Outside Davis. Five to shoot. Yes, it's good. Davis has got six in the quarter. And just great intensity down the stretch. I mean, he really wants to rock with the game on the line. I'll take a look at him. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. And that one's good. Gilgis Alexander. And SGA is used to burying these kind of big-time shots. Just an outstanding leader for this team. 
And he lobs it up and finished off by Davis. That's a perfect lob leading to a spectacular dunk from Davis there. Threw it up on time, on target. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Shoots over Davis. Oh, a great move from Shea Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got 29 points. Williams against James. Oh, and he got his wow. timing down. Look, give LeBron the ball and get out of the way. LBJ again. Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G slam cam. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. But that free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. The and one puts a little extra insurance on their lead. What a play. James against Williams. Just too much to handle inside. LeBron James, one of the best ever to do it. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's closely guarded. Oh, he powers right through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul, too. And he'll go to the line. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. That free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. And money from the stripe. SGA could close his eyes and knock that down. It all comes down to this possession. They must get points. Now, you can't make any mistakes right here if you want to keep hope alive. Their execution has to be precise. Showing some muscle on the interior. You can see why they go to him at this stage of the game. Oklahoma City has gotten four of seven three-pointers to fall in the fourth. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Tightly guarded. Basket's good. SGA quickly becoming the guy you want with the ball in his hands down the stretch. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. We're trailing by six. 44 seconds left in the game. Time to cheer on your little girl dance team. Let's go. Davis finds Reddish. Here's Prince. Here's James. Reddish against Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Prince. Takes a three. And he buries it. What a beautiful shot. Brings him within three. How about the clutch G showing up in Torian Prince? What a shot. And he commits the intentional foul. He drops the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. And so both free throws good, and it's a five-point game. Perfect from the line. It's now a two-possession game. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. They trail by five. 27 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Once again, here at Lakers and Ross and team. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Double team on James. And stolen by Williams. And that's an intentional foul. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. Second one is good. Getting both at the line. And it's a seven-point game. Free throws always a little bit sweeter when they can add to your lead. There's Davis with the three. Gilgis Alexander with a rebound. Giddy against Reddish. And here's Giddy. And so the Thunder take the win. They played the villain tonight, and they played it well. <laughs> yes, they did. And, you know, you have two choices. You can either succumb to the hostility in this arena, or you can feed off of it and use it as motivation. They did the latter. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Ali LaForce, Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and our entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson signing off. Now it's time for the New Balance Player of the Game, Shea Gilgis-Alexander.